By 2030, the worldwide electric vehicle market will be a cake that will be torn apart by many automakers. At this time, the problem does not stop at who will get a bigger piece, but the problem will be where is the lithium source for billions of electric vehicles in the next decade. It is an indisputable fact that lithium is no longer as abundant as in previous years and other battery technologies are being introduced as alternatives, even if none are as powerful as lithium. Let's talk about sodium ion battery. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please share your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. One of the main concerns surrounding sodium ion batteries is their energy density, a key parameter in determining the driving range of electric vehicles. Compared to established lithium ion batteries, sodium ion batteries tend to have a lower energy density. Specifically, popular lithium ion batteries have an energy density of 100 to 250 watt hours per kilogram. But the best sodium ion batteries today only reach 160 watt hours per kilogram. And sodium ion technology is not as well established as lithium ion. However, sodium ion is still being revived to become the best choice in case manufacturers face lithium battery depletion. Now, the best question would be, will Tesla really put sodium ion batteries in their electric cars? And how is sodium ion battery reviving? To make it clear that sodium ion batteries are making a comeback, let's look back to previous times when this battery technology was developed in parallel with lithium ion batteries. In essence, the development of sodium ion batteries took place in the early 70s and 80s. However, by the 1990s, lithium ion batteries had shown more commercial promise, causing interest in sodium ion batteries is decreasing. However, around 2010, due to large supply requirements, the cost of lithium raw materials skyrocketed, nearly doubling compared to 2009. Specifically, the price of lithium carbonate, the most common form of raw lithium that manufacturers use for electric vehicle batteries increased from 4,000 a ton to 7,500 a ton that year. It can be seen that this is where sodium ion batteries are sought after when concerns about raw material prices continue to increase sharply in 2011 in the future. Sodium ion batteries operate similarly to lithium ion batteries, with both sodium and lithium components relying on the intercalation of ions between host structures. Additionally, the sodium-based battery structure is almost identical to that of common lithium ion batteries on the market. However, sodium ion batteries have some fundamental differences with lithium ion regarding the electrode material. Lithium ion batteries use lithium ions, Li, as the charge carrier. They typically use lithium-based compounds for the cathode and carbon-based materials for the anode. Meanwhile, sodium ion batteries use sodium ions as the charge carrier. These types of batteries typically use sodium-based compounds for the cathode material, and the anode will often be hard carbon. During charging, sodium ions move from the cathode to the anode while electrons move through the external circuit. During discharge, the reverse process occurs. These differences bring both advantages and disadvantages. In our opinion, this is exactly what makes sodium ion batteries so potential but not yet widely applied. But of course, they are the factors that make sodium ion batteries gradually gain a foothold. Let's talk about the advantages first. As for sodium's biggest advantage in replacing lithium, the abundance and wide distribution of this element will certainly meet the growing demand for electric vehicle batteries and energy storage. Sodium's abundance is up to a thousand times greater than lithium, helping to create large reserves of raw materials, ensuring a stable supply and reasonable market value. Not only is it an abundant resource, sodium is also more evenly distributed globally than lithium, minimizing dependence on countries with resource advantages, as many times the U.S. lithium ion market is facing supplies from China and other countries. Many electric vehicles are ineligible for the $7,500 federal tax credit simply because the lithium in the batteries comes from China, including Tesla. An abundance of lithium would be a way to help reduce supply risks while promoting stability in the North American battery industry without worrying about limiting rebate tariffs. Known to be the sixth element in the Earth's crust, accounting for 2.3%, sodium not only stands out for its abundance but also for its regularity and prevalence. This means that the cost of extracting and manufacturing batteries using sodium will decrease, creating a significant economic benefit. In terms of raw materials, Lithium costs about $570,000 a ton, while sodium is only 3,000, 190 times cheaper. 
Thanks to cheap raw material costs, sodium batteries are also seven times cheaper than Tesla's lithium batteries by 2022. Specifically, the Tesla 4680 battery costs about $101 per kilowatt hour. But sodium batteries are only $15.15 per kilowatt hour. The cheaper price could be an important deciding factor in the decision to switch to sodium batteries in various applications. In addition, the ability to extract sodium from seawater also opens up an unlimited potential source of raw materials, helping to reduce pressure on the environment and natural resources. This makes sodium an environmentally friendly choice, while meeting the increasing demands for sustainability in battery production and use. In addition to abundant reserves and environmentally friendly supplies, the safety and stability of sodium ion batteries are also factors that allow it to become the second choice after lithium. According to Dr. Huang, deputy head of research at Tesla's partner company, Cattle, said that sodium batteries are more difficult to catch fire than current lithium batteries, which is a plus point in terms of safety. In addition, the performance of this type of battery at low temperatures is also better than lithium batteries, he added. Sodium ion batteries still achieve more than 90% at minus 20 degrees Celsius and 70% performance at minus 40 degrees Celsius. The charging speed of sodium batteries is also very fast when it can charge from 0 to 80% in just 15 minutes. It's an ideal temperature for sodium ion batteries. It'll range from minus 20 to 60 degrees, but some knowledge indicates that sodium ion batteries have an even wider temperature range from minus 70 degrees temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. The article says that even at minus 70 degrees Celsius, this battery still provides 70.19% of its capacity at room temperature. Furthermore, thanks to the high boiling point of the electrolyte, this type of battery also operates well at high temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius. Sodium ion batteries can also be discharged to zero volts during transportation, avoiding the risk of thermal runaway, something that's difficult for lithium ion batteries. The fact is that lithium ion batteries usually operate optimally at 15 to 35 degrees Celsius. And when the temperature drops below zero degrees Celsius, battery capacity will decrease rapidly. For example, at minus 20 Celsius, the battery capacity is only 50% of normal. Reaching too high a temperature can cause oxidation of the cathode electrolyte in the chemical composition of the lithium battery, leading to loss of battery capacity and accelerating the aging process. Another truth is that lithium ion batteries easily explode when exposed to high temperatures which is one of the reasons why many people still have a negative view of electric vehicles. Fires involving lithium-ion batteries are known to be very violent. The fires often spread very quickly and are extremely difficult to extinguish. Lithium-ion battery fires are also capable of generating large amounts of toxic smoke that's hazardous to human health. In terms of reuse, both types of batteries are recyclable, but lithium-ion batteries stand out for being easier to recycle and more environmentally friendly. The reason is that sodium's simple and benign chemical structure helps reduce the environmental burden and increase the ability to reuse resources. In particular, it contains less toxic ingredients such as cobalt, making the production and recycling process safer. This could be an important step in building a clean and sustainable energy industry of the future. So, what are the disadvantages of sodium ion batteries and how are they trying to overcome this barrier? Besides the potential to replace lithium, sodium batteries still have many limitations that need to be improved if they really want to be applied to the electric vehicle field. The biggest disadvantage is that sodium ion batteries have a lower energy density than lithium ion batteries. As we suggested above that lithium has an energy density of 100 to 250 watt hours per kilogram, but the best sodium ion batteries today only reach 160 watt hours per kilogram. This is because sodium is significantly heavier and larger than lithium, as well as sodium having a higher reducing power than lithium. From this, it follows that if an electric vehicle uses a sodium battery of the same size as a standard lithium ion battery, it'll not be able to travel far on a single charge. Not stopping there, sodium ion batteries also behind in volumetric energy density, up to 365 watt hours per liter, compared to lithium ion battery about 670 watt hours per liter. It's quite sad that the price is cheap, but sodium batteries can only store about two-thirds of the energy compared to lithium batteries of the same size. So the battery will run out faster and have to be charged more often. Lithium-ion batteries are also slightly more efficient when it comes to using the energy stored in the battery, as they use 90% of the stored energy compared to sodium ions 80 to 85%. Lithium-ion batteries are also more efficient when charging, 
They charge faster and can withstand more charging cycles. Sodium ion electrodes suffer structural deterioration during repeated discharge cycles, typically about 3,000 cycles, while lithium ion chemistry is used for off-highway applications can withstand up to 10,000 charging cycles, depending on the cell chemistry chosen. In some ways, this may reduce the cost advantage of sodium ion batteries in the long run, as they'll need to be replaced more frequently than lithium ion batteries. But according to many experts, continuous improvements in energy density and improved cycle rates are making sodium batteries more durable, making them more competitive. Of course, it's still in the developmental stage, and there are many more promising mutations. In short, the reason why sodium ion still can't compete with lithium ion batteries is due to lithium's privileged position in the chemical hierarchy. Even though both are metals and both belong to group one in the periodic table, lithium is at the third position, while sodium is poorly stuck at the 11th position, which is lower than lithium in activity. For a metal, you simply can't get better than lithium in terms of the amount of ionization potential per energy it naturally provides for its atomic size and simplicity. Therefore, it is fundamentally difficult for sodium ion batteries to surpass lithium ion batteries in terms of energy density or operating voltage. They may be cheaper for the same amount of watt hours, but they'll still be larger and heavier. When it comes to applications like cell phones and laptops and even cars, being cheaper won't help if they can't deliver, especially power in the same amount of space or within volume limits. So, will Tesla put sodium ion batteries in future electric cars? The answer is yes. It's even possible to become a popular battery type that makes a mark for Tesla cars if Elon Musk is really serious and researches carefully with sodium ion batteries. Currently, Tesla has not announced official information about integrating sodium ion batteries into its vehicle models. However, there are signs that they may consider using this battery technology in the future. One possibility is that when the input costs for lithium batteries become too expensive, Tesla may decide to switch back up to sodium ion batteries. In this scenario, the use of sodium ion batteries could be focused on lower priced vehicles, such as the robo-taxi or shorter range models that Elon Musk will develop in the future as a feasible situation. This helps Tesla stay competitive in this market segment and also reduces pressure on battery costs. You know, lithium prices will be extremely fierce in the coming years. With the ability to operate down to minus 70 degrees Celsius, a more credible theory is that Tesla could offer sodium ion battery packs for electric vehicles as a lithium alternative for customers in colder climates. However, this decision will depend on a number of factors, including whether the customer agrees or not. Not only Tesla, but major electric vehicle manufacturers have also considered and put in sodium ion batteries into research factories. Of course, for application on electric vehicles, there are criteria that need to be met. The first is to have sufficient power density to achieve good driving range. If that passes, then they'll start looking at other things like battery life, manufacturing costs, charging speed capabilities. At the present time, it's unfortunate for sodium ion that it cannot overcome the first two. That's not to say that modified versions of its chemistry won't one day get there. It's not currently optimal with current lithium ion battery technology, which is also slowly improving over time. The truth is that it takes a long time to transform technology. If sodium ion batteries reach their full potential, it's likely that Tesla will switch to using it. In the past, Tesla has switched to LFP for some of its vehicles, which, while still lithium, significantly eliminates less sustainable raw materials. Some companies in China, such as JAC, have launched electric vehicles powered by sodium ion batteries with a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours and an energy density of 120 kilowatt hours per kilogram. With 3C to 4C charging, the electric hatchback can recharge from 10 to 80% in 20 minutes. BYD is also expected to soon launch electric cars powered by their sodium ion battery on the market. Once the sodium ion battery is complete and meets the criteria, Tesla can cooperate with professional battery manufacturers such as Cattle, who are pioneering the development of sodium ion battery technology. This partnership gives Tesla quick access to the new world of sodium ion batteries, and at the same time, minimizes risks due to support from experienced partners. This could greatly benefit both Tesla and the auto industry, driving innovation and progress in the field of electric batteries. Chinese battery giant Cato could begin mass production of sodium ion batteries as soon as next year, and several startups are also working to increase sodium ion battery production capacity. UK-based Ferradian has been focusing on sodium batteries since 2011. Haina Battery Technology in China, Tiamat in France, Altris AB in Sweden, and Natron Energy in the U.S. are all commercializing sodium ion technology. 
In the short term, sodium ion batteries could be used for applications requiring lower energy density. Longer life batteries such as stationary storage, potentially easing some of the limitations on supplies raw materials for the lithium ion batteries needed for electric vehicles. Demand for critical battery raw materials is expected to grow exponentially, not only North America, but also EU countries transition to renewable energy systems and electric vehicles. The green transition will also require more local production of batteries and other new fossil free technologies and a steady supply of raw materials to meet demand. At the same time, such production has a huge risk of supply disruption due to the limited number of raw material sources. Although lithium ion batteries are becoming the dominant technology in the world, they're better for the climate than fossil-based technology, especially when it comes to transportation. But lithium poses a bottleneck. We can't produce lithium-based batteries at the rate we want to produce electric cars, and deposits risk running out in the long run. Additionally, key battery materials such as lithium and cobalt are largely mined in only a few parts of the world, putting supplies at risk. The comeback of sodium ion batteries is a promising story, mainly because the fierce competition in the electric vehicle market has presented a particular challenge to lithium ion batteries. Although lithium ion batteries have become a popular choice in many electronics and electric vehicle applications, the scarcity of lithium supplies is increasing costs and putting great pressure on the industry. In this context, Sodium ion batteries have emerged as a potential option, especially with the abundance of sodium raw materials, helping to ease supply pressures and reduce production costs. This creates a strong motivation to develop and research sodium ion batteries, especially when they have outstanding advantages in cost and safety compared to lithium competitors. Although current sodium ion batteries only have one main drawback, which is lower energy density than lithium ion batteries, but with investment and research from experts like Jeff Don, it's no longer a problem. It's too far-fetched to talk about a new battery revolution. Researchers are aiming to solve this problem to take sodium ion batteries to the next level, delivering remarkable stability and performance, creating momentum for their popularity and resurgence of this battery in the near future. So how do you feel about sodium ion batteries in the context of lithium ion batteries being prioritized at present? And what do you think will make manufacturers pay attention to sodium ion batteries? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.